guys and welcome back to the Shome Film. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install plugins for your Minecraft bucket server. Um, the reason why I'm making this video, just to start off to say, is because you guys were asking me to do this. So, you know, I thought since I haven't been doing a video in like a week, I thought like, you know, I'll just make a video. And since you guys were requesting it, I thought it'd be even better. So, anyways, let's get straight into this. Um, first off, what you're going to need is obviously a plugin to install for your server. Uh, but I guess, yeah, before that, you'll actually need a server. So, <laughs> you know, guys, I'm going to leave an annotation here for you guys um, for a really simple, fast, and easy tutorial um, on uh, how, to, how to make one. It's, it takes like eight to ten minutes it's like super easy uh, depends on how fast your downloading speed is that's all really it's really simple there's nothing really in, in like hard to do in my tutorial so I'm gonna be explaining everything just very very carefully and just one thing um, many guys have missed uh, many people have missed that um, um, that you must install GRE 7 for it to work so just just saying I really know what that has to this video to do but um, just, just for you, so you guys know so you can pause this video go check that out when you got a bucket server you you obviously already have one because you want to know how to install plugins uh, for it but uh, just for you guys that may not know or have one but uh, you know anyways so um, make sure you have a bucket server first of all priority one have a server um, next off uh, priority two of course you want to have a, um, a <laughs> like plugin to install because otherwise it, this obviously won't work so um, yeah but to get a plugin really what you do is that you go to a site called um, whoa I think my Google Chrome just lagged out I hope it doesn't crash but uh, anyways you're gonna have to go to a site called plugins bucket.org. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not lagged out. So, um, the site, um, oh, oh, there you go. I knew it. <laughs> Google Chrome has crashed. Oh, wait, give me a sec for just re restoring this. Um, anyways, so, here we have it. Uh, this is, um, plugins.bucket.org. Um, pretty much a forums page for all the plugins that exist for, uh, bucket, uh, or craft bucket. So here you can find any plugin really there's there's like I, I I think there's like over a million of them like not, not million but I like thousands of them so you guys go check them out I mean there's so many um, so yeah look for the one that you want and um, I'm gonna be using world edit for this tutorial just saying because I thought that would be a good tutorial like you know example plugin because it's configurable and you know it's pretty easy to install such as every other plugin but anyways first off um just to explain, um, you know, what you can do. So here you can search for the plugin if you also want to install World Edit. That's totally cool. Um, doesn't matter to me. Just uh, to get it, really what you do is that um, if you're looking for a specific plugin like me, World Edit, you just go ahead and search on it right up here in the kind of search bar. Click search, start searching, and uh, search takes like this out. And um, then simply go to the plugin that you want. Uh, here it is. It's World Edit. It's at the top because it's pretty famous. Uh, it's a really famous plugin, actually. Uh, the most servers or that are hosted in bucket uh, pretty much use uh, world edit so it's it's really popular plugin actually but um, really here it is as you see um, th maybe there's some videos so really this is the information tab about the actual plugins usually they have like uh, a video or something that some of them don't but um, um, really that doesn't that doesn't really matter <laughs> but uh, to simply download it anyways really what you want to do is that you just want to scroll down like one 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 time maybe uh, I don't know or two and uh, you should see a kind of ad right here on the uh, side, like right, the, like corner of the, um, um, you know, I don't really know what to call it, but like tab on top thing of the actual page of uh, the plugin. And underneath that, uh, make sure you don't click any download things because some people could get tricked that there's like, you know, there's a download button here. But this is always, remember, there's this is just an ad, okay? Nothing to click on. Really, the real download button is just down here. Uh, it doesn't have to say ticket here could say download and source right next to it and all that just make sure you download the act click on the actual download button it's, it looks like this has got like a blue arrow pointing on like a hard drive or something I guess I don't know but um, just click that and uh, that should take you into the uh, world edit um, or oh, no sorry world edit, or the bucket actual uh, plugin download so here um, usually what's on here is pretty much the um, uh, change logs about the uh, um, like uh, updates and information about the updates pretty much like uh, Minecraft update thingy but uh, really about the plugins so uh, to download it what you want to do is that you want to look um, on top here uh, now you want to look above the actual ad and uh, there should be a, like exact same download button just make sure you click that 
and uh, there you go. Your uh, file should start downloading. Now it could be a jar file or a zip file. Um, if it's a zip file, the um, plugin or .jar file should be inside there. There's probably some other files like README files or something or tutorials or I don't know, like stuff like that. It could be, but um, really the actual just for you guys to remember. Um, if there's no jar file, there's no plugin, okay? Just say. So, um, but yeah, so here, as you can see, if we open up the world edit thing, uh, as you can see, there's contrib, a world edit, readme, change log, like these license things. Really, what you want to do is you simply, um, drag out the jar file out of there on your desktop or something like that. So, you know, similar, so you know where to, where, where to have it or where you have it. So, really, that after that, you can close this down or anything depends on if, if it's just a normal, like, uh, jar, jar file, just download and just, you know, just drag it out to your desktop like I did. Really simple. But, uh, when that is done, you can simply open up your um, server folder and in there you should see a folder called plugins simply go into that really simple uh, or simply and really after that obviously as you uh, I think you already know um, simply drag in the actual jar file into the, uh, the uh, plugins folder inside your server pretty much like that and after that what you do is just start up your server um, but um, if you already have your server up, you can just type reload inside the console. So um, just a little help if you already have it, or you can just if that doesn't work, if something weird happens, just make sure you just close it down and restart it. Pretty much like that, just reboot it. But uh, as you can see, it's just preparing the spawn area and nothing really. But um, yeah, so um, really after installing the plugin, um, it uh, it should make a small folder. Or it's not small, but a uh, simple folder. Um, when it is done, so uh, this folder uh, contains uh, usually contains a config.yml file and maybe some other stuff, but um, usually there's a config.yml file. Sometimes it's just empty; it's just like a regular folder, um, so there's no idea of deleting because that because it would just be generated again. But um, some plugins are configurable, some are not. Some are more configurable. Like it's like it depends on what plugin it is and what features there are, and you know stuff like that. But um, really. Uh, World Edit is just a uh, configurable plugin of uh, editing and you know uh, world managing. But really, um, as you see, there is a file called config.yml. Uh, now, most plugins does have this file. Um, some do not, as I said. Like for example, uh, Disguisecraft uh, pretty much allows you to uh, disguise as any mob or anything, or like sometimes players or I don't know, like anything blocks maybe even. Um, really, there's no configure for that because there's just features for it. Really, it's it's nothing important. But um, really, um, so to configure the file, just simply open this up. Um, I'm using uh, Notepad++, um, a really good program so, uh, for uh, like uh, configuring, uh, you know, plugins and just stuff like that. Um, so I recommend you download that. I'll leave a link for it in the description of the video, so don't worry about it. I'll leave the download uh, page for uh, or hey, uh, World Edit too if you like to. Uh, there will also be uh, or all the links that I've been on for this whole video or be talking about will be in the description. Um, tell me if I forgot any in the comments because that really helps. And uh, but I, I don't think I will. But yeah, you know for safety. But um, anyway, so as you can see um, in the um, most uh, config.yml files, uh, there's usually an explanation for uh, how the, um, the settings work and what you're supposed to set them to and what happens when you do and like stuff like that. Pretty much like small tutorials inside the actual file. Uh, so the tutorial like text should be green just like this because it has like a uh, um, what do you call these? <laughs> I actually forgot the name of them. But um, really, um, just um, pretty simple. You'll obviously understand. Some some things are just obvious, like uh, let's say uh, history. I don't know. No, I don't know. Um, it's some some things, but yeah, drop items. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so when you have configured a file, you're happy. Just make sure you save it too. And um, if you uh, would happen to delete or wanted to delete your plugin if you're not happy with it. What you can do is just you want to make sure that you stop your server first of all by stopping the server. Make sure you type stop in the console. Do not close it down by clicking the um, exit button or close button because that will interrupt some uh, could interrupt some plugins and worlds could crack up the server. Just make it really weird. Uh, so make sure you always stop in the right way. Just typing stop. So after that, what you want to do is simply um, just uh, deleting the files. But I'm not going to be doing that. Just I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So after that, you will be be able to delete it. So if you would happen to try to delete it, uh, whoa, what happened? Uh, uh, wow, that was a glitch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so if you would happen to be unhappy with your plugin, you want to delete it. If it's not good or it's just messing up with any other things, uh, which also is a thing that. Um, 
If you would happen to get errors messages in your log, like on the console, uh, or like spamming messages or anything like that, or just error messages, um, that is usually because of plugin um, that is it, like um, conflicting with either another plugin or just conflicting because there's something wrong with it. So what I'd recommend if it does conflict and you know do errors on your server and make it probably lag and stuff like that, uh, which kind of sucks, I recommend you delete it. And um, if you don't know what plugin, uh, if you have like a lot of plugins like me on my servers. Um, uh, like um, like I do. Um, what you can do is that you uh, look, you check the latest plugin that you have installed, and then pretty much just uh, by you can see the latest one that you've installed by simply clicking the date modify button right here, and that should take you to the latest one you've been modifying, unless you haven't like modified anything between that. But um, um, anyways, or if you remember, just uh, make sure you check it, and. Um, so some uh, so just be aware of that um, some plugins could configure or like yeah sorry conflict with each other um, so be just be aware of that because I just want to you know want you guys to know but um, I don't really know if there's anything more I can say about it um, more than there's some I usually uh, the most plugins are configurable um, in like in game too so you some some plugins like uh, let's say there's a like uh, each plugin obviously has a feature, so some some of them are like more just for things like uh, each plugin really has their own features. So there's there's tons of features that you're there. That's really what uh, I guess Bucket is so famous for it because they you can really do anything with it with plugins. You can make your own plugins too, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's just a bit advanced, um, <laughs> obviously uh, by configuring the game in different ways. But so. Um, World edit really, um, it's just like a world managing, like editing uh, plugin, I guess. Like, fe has features that it can, like, um, you know, like change your world and, you know, like world settings, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Uh, you can change biomes from, like, building arenas, and it's just insanely awesome. It's like, it's probably the best plugin I know um, so far, but. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot cooler ones, but uh, it's really useful though. So it's it's really useful if you want to build like cool arenas and big stuff, you know, with uh, totally enormous things. Uh, really useful, but um, I don't know. That's all I want to say. But uh, really, um, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys uh, thought this was helpful anyway, um, please leave this video a like. And as always, become a showman for free today by subscribing to my channel. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, as always, this is Showman Films. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys.